Good morning guys, Diana here from Garden Love. So I just want to have a little chat with you guys about Christmas and all the fantastic food that we get to eat while we're celebrating Christmas. Um, I want to say that that is the most favorite part about Christmas is the food. And there's a few things that, a few meals or a few dishes that really make it feel like Christmas. Yes, you guys know I went to Utah right before Christmas. We came home to my husband's um, parents. We went straight from Utah to my husband's uh, family's house to go have dinner with them. And then the next day at the 25th, my mother came over and um, just visited and we started cooking some of our recipes, well, some of her recipes. Um, Christmas didn't seem, Christmas Eve didn't seem Christmas Eve without my mom's food, even though there was yummy food there. Uh, it just didn't seem just quite as <laughs> as um, Christmas as it is when I'm with my mother. So some of my favorite foods that I love eating is arroz con leche, tinga, ponche, and um, tamales. I mentioned this in the other video that I made, um, how to make tinga. Either that's already come out or it's about to come out, so stay tuned for that. But today I'm going to show you guys how to make arroz con leche. For those of you guys who don't know how to make arroz con leche, uh, it's basically rice pudding. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with that, you guys will get to know it today. It's rice with milk, but it's sweet with, and cinnamon and it's delicious. So my mom, I love the way my mom makes it. She usually, when it's freshly made, it's kind of like a hot chocolate with a little bit of rice, but if you let it sit for a little bit, it turns into rice pudding. And that is how uh, most of us here in our house like, like to eat it. I enjoy it as a hot chocolate with my mom, and then after the leftovers, we save it. It even tastes good cold, so um, it's really, really delicious. It's been something that I, grew up eating since I was a kid. In fact, um, when I was, let me tell you a story, when I was like maybe in third grade, this was like, this has always been my favorite. I would tell my mom to pack some for lunch. <laughs> and since back then, some of the Latin uh, recipes weren't as common, I would have sometimes kids look at me like, oh, what is that? rice with milk that just doesn't seem good and it was a little bit embarrassing because no one uh in my school knew about rice pudding but so uh, i stopped doing that <laughs> i just would come home and eat it unfortunately but now it's more common uh, people are very familiar with rice pudding and it's delicious and i want to show you guys my mom's recipe and i'm gonna do that with you right now so i hope you guys like the recipe let me know if you try it let me know if rice pudding, if you know it or if you don't know it, let me know. I'm curious to know how many people are familiar with rice pudding now, years later, after um, you know my incident at school, like I mentioned earlier. And um, if you do, let me know who, do, who does it the best, how did you learn about it, um, when was the first time you tried it, or if it's been something you've had um, that you grew up eating as well all right guys so let me show you guys what this how to make this delicious rice pudding and then let me guys uh, show you and then you guys can tell me what you guys think okay mm. all right guys these are the ingredients that we're going to use to make our arroz con leche um, some people call it rice pudding, but the way we're doing it today is not like a pudding. It's more like a drink with some rice in it. Um, we're going to use three cups of water, as you can see here. We're going to use two sticks of cinnamon. We're going to use some condensed milk, as you can see here. It's 14 ounces. And this is the milk I decided to use. We're going to use about a cup of sugar. It just depends how sweet you like your drinks or your rice pudding and um, so just about a cup and then we're going to use about two cups of milk and then we're going to use some milk now the milk is going to depend if you want it to be like a rice pudding you're going to put less milk if you want it to be more like a drink as I'm um, as we did it you're going to add more milk and I'll show you in the next few steps what the difference will be as far as how much milk you're going to put in it okay All right guys, now I'm gonna add the three cups of water.
And before you add anything else, you have to let this water come to a boil about one or two minutes. All right guys, now that the water is simmering and coming to a boil, I'm going to add the rice. By the way, don't forget to wash your rice before you cook it. And at this time, I'm also going to add the cinnamon sticks. I'm just gonna move the rice around. And then I'm just gonna let this basically cool cook. Be, and then I'm gonna stop it right before the water completely evaporates. All right guys, the rice is pretty much cooked all the way. We're gonna just check to see if it's soft or hard. It's pretty much almost cooked. So now the next step. Now you're gonna add milk. Just remember at this point, if you wanted to be rice pudding, you would probably stop right, about right now. But since we're gonna do it more like a drink, we're gonna keep going. Approximately half a gallon. All right guys, the rice has been cooking for a little bit. Okay, and the milk as well. The next step we're gonna do is we're gonna add the condensed milk. Alright guys, I let everything cook for about 15 minutes and it looks like it's done. I tried the rice already and it's fully cooked. And as you can see here, we're going to serve ourselves a cup so we can enjoy this delicious rice pudding. Arroz con leche is in Spanish. And I did not add the sugar, by the way, because we added the condensed milk. So if you don't have condensed milk, you can use sugar. In this case, the condensed milk was way too sweet and it just made it perfect so there was no sugar needed okay so if you guys want to just do sugar that's fine if you guys want to do condensed milk and if condensed milk is not sweet enough for you because you added a lot of milk then just go ahead and add some more sugar to that okay let's go ahead and taste it mm. 